Hello and welcome to You So You. My name's Zoe and this is my channel all about the crafty bits and pieces I get up to. I knit, I sew, I spin on a drop spindle, I dabble in weaving from time to time and anything else that takes my crafty fancy. But today we're looking at all the things I've been working on during May. So grab a brew, put your feet up and let's get started. Welcome, welcome back to any returning viewers and to any new viewers, a very warm welcome to you. Before I get going, I'm just going to apologise if any external noise comes into this video today. Um, a workman's van is currently sat idling outside uh, a couple of doors down. Uh, they were doing some very noisy roofing work yesterday. Um, so who knows what's going to happen out there. I, I don't know whether they're just there to deliver an invoice or what. Um, I mean, it's the 2nd of June, which this year means it's a bank holiday because it's Jubilee weekend. So... They've moved our spring bank holiday back to today and then we get a Jubilee bank holiday tomorrow. So it's a big long weekend, so I'm not entirely sure why the workmen are there at all, um, unless it's an emergency thing. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed it's not too noisy. Um, but hey. So, as I mentioned the opening to the video, we're looking at the things I've been working on in May today. Now, there's not a whole load of finishes to show you. I've got a couple of things but not an awful lot, um, for two reasons. One being, my mojo has gone a little bit AWOL um, this month, uh, particularly for knitting and crochet and that kind of things. Um, but also it's exam and assessment season in the UK at the moment. So I've taken on a temporary second job. Um, as I say, it is temporary, it's only gonna last for a few weeks. Um, but it does mean that my time has been a little bit more taken up with work stuff um, rather than craft stuff. So that's had a bit of an impact, but it's all good. So let's uh, get going first of all with what I am wearing. This is a Jessie made design. It's the My Little Secret Top, My Little Summer Top. My little se Bear with me one moment. My Little Secret Crop, that's the one. And um, she had a whole series of crop tops come out sort of back to back that had similar names. So I do get a little confused, but yeah, My Little Secret Crop. Uh, Jesse made designs. I've worked it up in um, fingering weight, sock yarn, held double, and I made it a little bit longer than uh, the pattern called for. It is a little cropped on me at the moment. It's sitting just above my jeans. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Uh, can I get up on high enough toes? Oh, yeah. yeah, there we go. So we've got a little bit of midriff showing. When I made it a couple of years ago, that wasn't the case, but I was a little smaller then. Um, which is fine, it's not a problem, it's a summer top so it doesn't matter if I show a little bit of skin here and there um, I'm not going to wear it to work without something underneath it but um, yeah, wearing it around the house and doing my work from home job, not a problem uh, so that's that um, I think it was a free pattern when I made it, it may not be now, I don't know um, but yeah, Jessie May does some very nice, distinctive, easy to wear patterns and she does some um, a bit more fashion forward patterns as well, uh, quite size inclusive. Uh, so yeah, worth checking out if you like the crop top bralette type thing or the big poofy sleeve type thing. She's got some nice uh, tops with big poofy uh, mohair diaphanous type sleeves and stuff. Um, so that's what I'm wearing and let's get cracking with finished objects. And these are gonna be shown here in photographic form because it's sewing. Yes, I finished two sewing projects, both using the same pattern, but still two projects nonetheless. The first one is the South Bank sweater dress, uh, which is around any length. A picture of me up here wearing it. Uh, long sleeve, uh, higher collar, sort of funnel neck, um, mock polo neck type collar. And I've made it in a Ponte Roma. It has this feather print on it. It is a Minerva Makers project, a uh, Minerva... Um, brand ambassador project so Minerva sent me the fabric for free in return I make something up and put something on their website uh, so both of these same projects and one of my works in progress fall under that category um, so yeah so the South Bank sweater dress it's super super comfortable uh, it's not form fitting at all it's a nice and relaxed fit um, so yeah easy wearing just not quite summer wearing so it's gonna be more of a sort of spring autumn and into winter with a nice pair of uh, chunky colorful tights type garment 
Um, but yeah, really comfy, uh, really easy to wear. So loving that. I can see me making a few more in different fabrics. Um, I might even potentially uh, use it as the base for a hack thinking about it because I could probably do a sleeveless version without too much effort. I could ignore the uh, neckband and do a bias finish, make it uh, more of a round neck. And obviously I could shorten the sleeves as well. Um, so that's a nice, versatile, easy to wear pattern and really quick to make, particularly with the serger, the overlocker. Um, so that's the first finished object. The second finished object, as I say, same pattern, the South Bank sweater top. There is a crop length version as well, but I haven't done that. If I get some nice sweatshirting, I might do the crop length to wear with some high-waisted trousers. Um, but this is in a striped t-shirt weight jersey, again from Minerva, as part of the Brand Ambassadors programme. Um, so again, long sleeve, relaxed fit, mock pearly neck uh, collar. I'm counting this towards my make nine, either as the long sleeve tee or the uh, polo neck, because I've got both on there. And it does tick both boxes. Um, so yeah, so really pleased with that. Um, so yeah, that, this one is another one that I'm going to be making in lots of different colours. This one being a t-shirt weight, I could have got away with doing it a size down, a bit more form fitting, but it's fine. Um, it's nice for a light fit for wearing a pair of jeans and it could be fine underneath some of my pinafore type tops as well. Again, more leaning towards spring and autumn, but possibly on colder summer's day, because hey, I live in the UK. It's not all sunshine and rainbows in the summer. Um, so yeah, so that's those. Have I shown you my bastion culottes? I'm gonna pop them up here. I can't remember if I showed these to you last month or not. To be honest, I can't actually remember if I finished them before or after I last recorded a podcast, so. So yeah, Bastion Clots. These are in a jacquard fabric, again, from Minerva, part of the Brand Ambassadors programme. And the Bastion Clots are a Jennifer Lauren handmade pattern. Uh, again, I'm sort of maybe possibly counting them towards my Make 9. I had a basic skirt on my Make 9 um, that I could wear with my more sort of patterned, printed, exuberant tops. Um, so sort of in a, a, a plainish fabric, fairly neutral fab fabric and a fairly straightforward silhouette and these do kind of fit that brief okay they're not a skirt culottes are definitely not a skirt but they do have that a-line silhouette that i quite like on me and um, for skirts as well they do hang like a skirt because that's the point of culottes that they are not a skirt but look like a skirt um, and they they will go with some of my more exuberant tops so that might be possibly counted towards my make nine if it's not cheating. I guess it comes down to whether or not I make a skirt later in the year or not. But, uh, we'll see. So that's two, definitely, possibly three finished sewing objects. Um, I can't quite remember if I finished the Bastion Clots before or after I did the uh, last roundup video because you know days are blurring into one. It was possibly just afterwards. Okay, so sewing finished objects that have been up here. Um, I have finished one crochet finished object, which I did a video to accompany. Um, I will uh, try and remember to link that up here in the Dubri WhatsApp. And that was a cat toy for my cat Leo. I had to hunt this down this morning because he's hidden it. So clearly he doesn't object to it. He's not as excited by it as he is with the... Um, ones on a stick that you buy, the like the caterpillar on the end and mice and things. But he does play with it, so that's a good thing. Um, that was a quite simple project, a little plastic ball with a bell in it, crochet around it, crochet a spiral. Um, but as I said, I will link the uh, video up here to show you exactly how I did it, um, so that you can make it along if you wish to. Um, yeah, so that's all the finished objects. Told you there weren't many. <laughs> so moving on to works in progress now. As I mentioned in the last roundup video, I was struggling to finish a pair of Sock Madness socks. I haven't picked those ones up again. Um, I did, however, make a start on the next pair of, of socks um, called the Cably Wabley socks. Um, they're a lovely pattern. I'll try and remember to put a picture up on the screen so you can see the pattern. But, uh, when I say my mojo's left me, I mean my mojo's truly up and run away. 
that's as far as I got. I do intend on finishing these and the uh, the other pair of socks as well at some point. Um, we'll get there. Uh, so that's, that's the knitting works in progress. Yeah. Not a lot. I really haven't had um, much impetus for, for knitting and crochet and that sort of stuff over the past couple of weeks, as I say. It's, it's just all been a bit manic. Um, I have been doing some sewing there. Obviously the finished objects uh, attest. I'm currently partway through another Minerva brand ambassador project in this um, zebra floral soft shell. It's a fleece backed soft shell, so it's going to be nice and cosy. Uh, and it's going to be a truffle coat by Lara Sanna patterns. Unfortunately, the pattern doesn't go up to my size. I'm not the biggest girl in the world. I'm relatively average sized. Patterns should go way beyond my size, but uh, this one doesn't. So I have, as I've cut out the pieces, I've added an inch-ish on each side seam, like on both sides where there's a seam, um, to increase the circumference. Because I can always take in side seams if it ends up being too big, but I feel that that is going to take me enough over the largest size to enable me to wear it with enough ease to put things underneath, looking at the finished garment measurements. Um, I really shouldn't need to do that to a pattern. Patterns should go up beyond my size because I'm relatively average size. I'm on the large side of average, but I am relatively average sized. Um, so there really is no excuse for patterns not going big enough for me. Um, so yeah, not impressed with that. Also not overly impressed with the snaps. Um, I like the look of them. I do like the look of them. These are um, heavyweight snaps. I think the hemline ones. They are a nightmare to put in. Absolute nightmare. Hammer. All the punch tool that comes with the kit doesn't go through this fabric. Uh, so I haven't used an awl to make the holes, to hammer them in place. And then I can't do the flipping things up. They look pretty. So hey, we'll live with that. Um, they might get easier to do up with, with use if I can get them done up in the first place and do them up and undo them a few times, but um, it's frustrating. In all honesty though, um, the snaps go on the pockets and all down the front placket. Um, I haven't put the, the, the side that they snap onto on yet. And um, that comes a little bit later through the process of making them than where I'm at at the moment. And um, but the pockets I'm very rarely going to actually want to do up because I want to be able to get in and out of them. And the placket, uh, who has time to do plackets up when you're walking down the street? It's either going to be open a lot of the time or I'll just do the zip up. So in, in the grand scheme of things, not a major problem, but very frustrating. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll be done. Well, that will be done by the time I do another round up because it's already overdue. So I need to get that finished. Um, so that's my sort of current frantically trying to get it done project around working. Um, and that's the sewing work in progress. I'm just working on the one sewing project at the moment. We also have some spinning in progress. You may recall ages ago, I did a part one video of spinning a DK weight yarn on a drop spindle. Here's my first ply, which I finished a little while ago. You, you might have seen that before. I can't remember if I've shown you or not. This is a John Arburn Harvest Hughes fibre in the Juniper colourway. This is my second ply so far. So I've still got a ways to go and oh look, the workmen are starting. The bank holiday, why are they here? So I'm still working on the second ply and there is a third ply to come after that. So those of you that are waiting for my part two of my uh, DK spin, where I ply them together, it is coming. It's just going to be a little way off. Hoping to get it done in June at some point, but we'll see how that goes. It might be that I end up finishing it off at the beginning of Tour de Fleece in July, but it's coming. It is coming. Um, so that's spinning work in progress. 
the other work in progress I need to show you is weaving. Again, there's a video to go with this. I'm doing a little a Weave With Me series of videos, so I'll link to the playlist up here. Um, previously, I had got as far as doing all the rye knots on the bottom and a tabby woven plain weave hill um, in mohair and fingering weight yarn held together. Um, I'm weaving essentially in fingering weight. I may possibly add some heavier weight in later on but at the moment I'm, I'm just in fingering weight. Now I have made a start on my next hill, this dark green hill here. Still got a bit of a way to go and I'm having to adapt my pattern as I go because I don't have quite enough of the green to do the original idea of the hill that I had in mind but that's okay it's my design I can do what I want. And this is in sumac weaving uh, so there is a video for designing the, the the weaving, there's a video for starting the weaving, getting the rye knots done, there's one for this mohair fingering weight hill and there's now a video for this sumac hill as well um, and then some point in the next few weeks I'll be doing one on the stripe hill which is going to go here and it's going to have grown a bit because of adapting this hill to fit the yarn. Um, then I've got another tab, tabby plain weave like this to do and another sumac like this to do and then this one i'm i was thinking tabby when i first designed it but i'm now thinking i might do another striped hill to sort of balance out the hills a bit and then we'll be blending in the sun into the sky so there are a few more videos to come with this project um so yeah feel free to join me on the weave with me videos as i say i'll be putting the uh playlist up in that corner there okay so that is uh, all my works in progress so not as busy craft-wise as some months have been, but you know, that's okay. Um, my crafts are my hobbies, so I don't always want to feel like I'm under pressure having to get things done for a specific time. I mean, it's different if it's a gift, and uh, there's a, a deadline of when you need to get it done for when you need to give it to somebody. The Brand Ambassador projects, the same projects that I've been sharing with you recently, um, they're deadline projects as well, effectively, and the, and the coat is overdue. And um, so they have a bit more pressure on them, but that's because I'm being sent the fabric for free. So it's it's only right that I actually can't hold up my end of the bargain and get the project done and up on the, the website. So so that's fine. Um, but for most of my stuff, it's what I do to relax. <laughs> it's what I do to sort of rest my brain. Um, so yeah, so having a month or two that's not as productive it's not a problem. Um, so yeah, so that's all I have to show you for today. Now, I aim to put up a video every weekend, so if you like spending time in my company, uh, like and subscribe down below and, and ding the bell so you get notified when I put videos up, because YouTube being YouTube, it doesn't always tell you. Um, once a month, it's a video like this, where I round up what I've been working on the previous month, and in between times, it's a bit more sort of projects focused or skill or technique focused, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so I look forward to seeing you in the next video, but until then, happy crafting and bye-bye for now.